Hello everyone, my name is Jerry Beer and welcome back to Pokemon Shining Diamond. Alright, so my map told me this tree, I guess, has attracted a Pokemon, so I'm curious what this is. Um, no. Why would Cascoon appear from the tree you slaughtered with honey? Alright, well that's lame. I probably should have looked up to see if that's something I'm supposed to catch. Alright, well... Oh, whoops. That was the VS Seeker. First Seeker. We're making our way... North and East to Veilstone. And two tens in new regions, so... We'll find some new stuff. Oh. Grass is too thick. Right. New Pokemon time. Who's it gonna be? Ah, we already got a Pony Top. A different fire Pokemon would be greatly appreciated, though. Like, that's. I think that's one of the biggest reasons why I like to pick fire Pokemon. Because you can always find a grass Pokemon. Um, I have a good rod now, so it's easy to find a water Pokemon. But fire Pokemon, you need like one specific area. Plus, they destroy all the grass Pokemon that seem to be in the beginning areas anyway. I always hate that they have sturdy. Such a weird. Like I'm not trying to catch him. I don't... Hanging on by one is a huge pain. All right, you gonna find one? Nope. I guess we're battling this farmer first. Our Pokemon toughen up from working on the farm. I'm right proud of them. Ranger Marco. Rancher. I was like, he's not a ranger. I, oh, I've never fought an ape one before. But I think they're just normal types, though. Just hit him with bubble beam. Out. Let's see, yeah. I think he's psychic, but I don't think I don't think steel will be effective against psychic. I guess I had Lionel. He could have taken care of it. Oop. I forgot my Joy-Con is broken. I really need to switch it, but I don't want to. I can't remember if it just if it's the drift or if there's something else wrong with it. I know my other one broke. That would be the same age as this one, but I can't I don't remember why it broke. Oh, is this gonna be our new friend? Nope. Another stupid Geo dude. Alright. 
All right, now let's head on. Oh, is my egg hatching? I feel like I checked it not long ago and it said it's nowhere close, but that's exciting. Okay, a happening. I think happening's new to Gen 4. Ah, no. It carries a round egg shaped rock in its belly pouch. Gives the rock to its friends. Gives it to its friends. Um. Eggs. Then the dip. I think that's how it's spelled. You can't see. <laughs> oh. It, oh yeah, I guess he doesn't. Eggs Benedict. I'm curious now. Because I have pure stone that can make certain species of Pokemon evolve. I don't want to give it to him right now, but I'm thinking that would make him evolve. I can get away with slacking off if I have my Pokemon out. <laughs> I'll show y'all how tightly I bonded with my daughter. There's two senses together. So weird. Ranchers Ava and Matt. They're stunky and they're glam meow. Intimidate them. Alright. Uh, okay, so I have fought them before. Oh wow, you guys are a little stronger at 21. Um, yeah, I guess... Okay, good, it is a one-shot. Oh wow, Eggs Benedict with seven level ups. Nice. Sweet kiss, I guess. What moves did you win? Uh, forget defense curl. That was lame. Oh, Mr. Popper flinched. Where's just the... and child power couldn't get the job done. Nice 10 grand. Uh, we're going up over here. Woo! Yay, we're gonna battle with lots of Pokemon. Yay, we're gonna have a battle with three train. Okay, yeah. Twins Terry and Tia. Pikachu Fairy! That's, that's a nice set. I think originally the fairy was supposed to be the po I think originally Pokemon was supposed to instead of be Ash and Pikachu, it was supposed to be Ashley and Clefairy. So that's exciting to see. Oh really? Don't get... Maybe I should have ganged up on Pikachu. I know, it's fine. Okay, and 11 points of damage.
emotional damage to a person this attack never misses. Though it could probably be some hilarious things. Hey, check this out. Look at the luster of my Pokemon's fur. No, oh, thank you. Weirdo. Freaking breeders. And their key chews. Oh, and you have a happening too? Take a good look. Oh yeah, I wasn't supposed to beat your Pokemon unconscious. I was just supposed to. Oh, I was just supposed to look at them and appreciate how nice they looked. There we go, Mr. Empoleon. swims as fast as a jet boat. The edges of its wings are sharp and can slice apart drifting ice. Oh wait, no, I think the game already asked if I wanted Whirlpool and I said no. Like, it's okay, but... Aqua Jet. Now that sounds like a move I want. Use oh wait. No, that's also bad. Ah, uh, I wanted that item. Excuse you, game. Eh. Alright, now off the bike. Finally, a great ball. I still have yet to encounter a Pokemon to join my team. Oh, you're not. You're gonna keep running as long as there's road. He appears to be very happy. Nice. Really a Geodude? So based on how it asked if I wanted Napoleon to learn moves... I'm thinking... Oh wait, the bird catches up here. If I were a bird Pokemon, it would be a roost. Uh, you should rest it too. Oh! I'm thinking if I... Evolve him... Uh, my worry is when missing out on any moves. Because Pokemon learn moves earlier at lower levels. But I also don't think it'll really matter. I probably won't use Chansey and Blissey much beyond... Um, just filling that six spot. Honestly, there's probably someone in my PC that I'd rather have with me. Let's see, it's high. 
right, because so Gen One. I think that it's a gen 2, but I guess I might as well just do it. I wonder if the oval stone disappears. No, it can't disappear. That'd be stupid. I mean, you can have one in your entire playthrough. No, it does. It's really good. Um, I don't know if Bronzor is considered fast or slow. We'll keep hypnosis. Because you never know when you want to catch someone that's being difficult. Benedict is evolving. Chancer. Right. It lays several eggs a day and won't share them with those who have evil in their hearts. Oh, interesting. You do not have this item anymore. And I do not have honey. I still need to catch a Pokemon. Cafe Cabin. Is this just Psyduck's randomly blocking the path for no reason? Standing firm, they aren't inclined to move at all. Funny. Curious if this cafe is supposed to tie in with the mobile game. Pokemon Cafe Mix, I think. It's a full name. Oh, super. Oh, because it's a fairy type. Changing Pokemon types is not something easy to remember. Is, are you... Okay, Happy is not very... Happy stays as a normal type. No, you have hypnosis. Why would you? Oh wait, no. Metalhead has hypnosis. I still need a to catch a 
Pokemon here. Welcome, this Pokemon is my- Oh, this is a battle. Waitress Katie. You should not be doing this on the clock. Because if they make a mess, you're gonna have to clean it up, Katie. I take losses with an unusually big smile. Do you find that odd at all? Hmm. Kinda since you pointed it out. The match you should have some moo moo milk. Just chug it right down. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll take 10. I have a good bit of money. Howdy, some of our customers are rowdy types that want to battle. Pay it no mind and stay a while. Having a heated discussion over Pokemon the way collectors do. Two on one fight? Because that'll save me some time. Ah. Collector Fernando. Hate it. I wonder, Mr. Mime's a fairy type now, isn't he? One way to find out. Uh, yep, super effective. Uh, do it again, too. Uh, no, don't mind takedown. Another Mr. Mime. Okay, you freak. This guy gets into with his collection of Pokemon. <laughs> I mean, I guess, Mr. Mime, you can do chores and stuff. That's why Ash's mom has one, hopefully. Now I'll put him to work around your house, but knowledge alone isn't everything, you know. Yeah. I'm a collector and I'm proud of what I know about Pokemon. Would you like me to test your knowledge? Kinda. I would love some quizzes in here, Edwin. Pseudo Wudo is a good one to put out there for, um, you know, to test knowledge. I wonder if there's any other Pokemon that are quite like that. Huckle Paunch, leveled up. Another Pseudo Wudo, okay. Let's Kind of where I thought since that other guy had three Mr. Mimes, but I was hoping they could have been original. Yep. He's got a whole forest of rocks. One last person here. Oh, yeah, that's right, Taco Punch. I forgot you were close to evolving. Was 
it Star Raptor? Yeah. It's nice. Everything looks just murderous. The muscles in its wings and legs are strong. It can easily fly while gripping a small Pokemon. Close combat. Is that a fighting type? Ooh, that's interesting. Lowers the user's defense and special defense. I like it. Yeah, I have no use for wing attacks since I have Aerial Ace. I probably should have gotten rid of, like, takedown, but... Oh well. Especially doing this like a Nuzlocke. Youngster, you've seen the Psyduck huddled outside. Psyduck are Pokemon that suffer from chronic headaches. Afraid we'll have to wait for them to get better. I beat all your people. Alright. Alright, so let's try to catch a new Pokemon. Is there anything but Geodudes and Ponytas in here? Love the two steps to ah, it's a pony top. Okay. Come on, new Pokemon. New okay. What's it gonna be? Something has to spawn here other than these two. Alright. Come on. Like where does... Yeah, the route stops right there. Like, 210. Like, down here, this is not... Yeah, that's 209. Okay, if this doesn't work... I guess, hopefully, that area the Psyducks are blocking is also part of 210. Because... I don't know what else to do, um, but I guess I'm going to end this episode here, so thank you guys so much for watching. Next time we'll, I guess we'll just be on Route 215. As always, I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye